Today is Superhero Day uh, during our Kindness Spirit Week, and uh, let's get to it. So, yesterday, Governor Cuomo held another press conference where he made numerous important announcements. Perhaps the biggest is that New York may actually be re reaching the apex of this coronavirus crisis. Deaths due to the coronavirus have remained flat for the second day in a row, and admittance to the ICU and hospitalizations are going down. All signs that the curves may be flattening. However, he still urges caution and said that we must remain vigilant. We can't make some of the same mistakes that were made in other countries. And so to help uh, continue the, uh, this down, hopefully flattening and then downward trend, uh, he made these two announcements. Event, plateau, not plateau. We still have to extend New York pause because if that curve is turning, it's turning because the rate of infection is going down. One of the reasons the rate of infection is going down is because social distancing is working. We have to continue the social distancing. Uh, schools and non-essential businesses will stay closed until April 29th. I know that's uh, a negative for many, many reasons. I know what it does to the economy. But, as I said from day one, I'm not going to choose between public health uh, and uh, economic activity. Because in either event, public health still demands that we stay on pause with businesses closed and schools closed. Whether we've hit the apex or whether we haven't hit the apex. You the time uh, to be lax. And it is a mistake. We all have a responsibility. We all have a role in this. We said that from day one. And we have to respect the role that we play. Because the role that we play is a societal obligation. That's how I see it. Uh, I want local governments to enforce the social distancing rules. The local governments are charged with enforcement. I want them to enforce them. And I want to be, frankly, more aggressive on the enforcement because all the anecdotal evidence is people are violating it at a higher rate than before. So we're going to increase the potential maximum fine from 500 to $1,000. But it's not really about the fine. Nobody wants the money. We want the compliance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh my gosh, working from home is not easy. I gotta maintain and keep up with everything that I need to do for work while balancing my home and High school. I'm Lauren Payne. I'm the vice president of class for 2023. Um, remember, this week is Spirit Week, so on Monday we are going to do Dreaming of Kindness, wear your pajama pants and slippers. Tuesday is Powered by Kindness, wear superhero clothing. Wednesday is Crazy for Kindness, so dress up like it's Wacky Wednesday back in elementary school. Thursday is Twice the Kindness, social distance twinning, so talk to one of your friends, see what you guys can work up. And Friday is Spirit of Kindness, where your favorite Spartan Spirit merch. Um, remember, this is new for everyone. Be kind to one another, get your work done, and we'll see you back whenever we're back at school. Bye! Good morning. Today will be partly cloudy with the low of 43 and the high of 60. So enjoy some time outside today. Just remember to keep your distance. Hi, I'm Ms. 
watch. I'm an English teacher here at the high school. My favorite cartoon character is Finn from Adventure Time, and I am here in the small gym this afternoon to take down Mr. Defino in our first annual pig challenge. Hey everybody, Mr. Defino. Uh, my favorite cartoon character is Scooby-Doo, or He-Man, depends. And uh, yeah, Miss Welch talks a big game, but we'll see what happens at the end here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that looks pretty good. P to P. Yeah, dominant hand's fine. P.I.? P.I. What?